Why do you look so worried, Turbo Girl? I am thinking of buying my mother a birthday gift, but I don't know what to get for her. She likes both flowers and cake. Since you know what she likes, what is the problem then? But I don't have enough money to buy her both presents. Look at these pamphlets. One shows the cost of the bouquet of flowers I intend to get for mother, and the other shows the cost of mother's favorite mango cake. Let me take a look. Hmm, these two pamphlets can be used for today's lesson, Turbo Girl. Lesson? I can only think about buying presents for my mother. Yes, and hopefully by the end of the lesson we can help you to solve your problem too. Oh, that would be great. Let's have a look at those pamphlets again. I can see that it is a very difficult decision choosing the best gift. They both look very nice indeed, Turbo Girl. Exactly. How should I decide? Bouquet of flowers is twenty-five dollars and sixty-seven cents. The cake costs twenty-six dollars and fifty-five cents. Twenty-six dollars and fifty-five cents is more than twenty-five dollars and sixty-seven cents. So the cake is more expensive. Accurate answer. How about this vase? Is it cheaper or are the flowers cheaper? The flowers are cheaper, of course. Twenty-five dollars and sixty-seven cents is less than sixty-one dollars and ninety cents. Hey, what about the chocolates? They are twenty-five dollars and sixty cents. Hmm, the flowers are about twenty-five dollars. The chocolates are about twenty-five dollars too. How do I compare? Look closely, Turbo Girl. The flowers cost twenty-five dollars and sixty-seven cents, and the chocolates cost twenty-five dollars and sixty cents. Although they both cost the same dollar value, but which item costs more cents? The flowers. They cost seven cents more. Very good. We have been looking at dollars and cents. How do we read a number that is not in dollars and cents but with a decimal point? Decimal point? Yes. Look at the following number in dollars and cents. The dot between the dollars and cents is called a decimal point. Oh yes, now I remember. Now, read a number without the dollar sign. Is it forty and ninety-two? Not exactly. We read it as. Forty point nine two. Repeat after me. Forty point nine two. Teacher, I know that four is in the tens place while zero is in the ones place. What about nine and two? What are their place values? The digit nine is in the tens place. Tens. The first digit written after the decimal point is the tens place. We don't start with ones after the decimal point. The digit nine is tens. Is digit two hundreds then? Very close, Turbo Girl. You need to add th for the place values after the decimal point. Oh, so it is hundreds. That's right. Does it mean the next digit after hundreds is thousands? You are right. The place values of the digits after the decimal points are ordered as such. Tens, hundreds, and thousands. Am I right? Absolutely. Let me test you now. Can you tell me the place value of the digits five, six, and one in thirty-four point five six one? I know. The digit five is in the tens place. The digit six is in the hundreds place. The digit one is in the thousands place. You are very clever. Look at these two decimals. Can you tell me which one is smaller? Is it one point five? Since it has digits up to only the tens place. No, it is not. In decimal, place value tens is the largest, while thousands is smaller than tens and hundreds. Huh? How do you read one over ten? 
One tenth. Okay. How many tenths are there in zero point one? One. Oh, I know. Zero point one is equal to one over ten. Brilliant. What about zero point zero one? Zero point zero one is one hundred. When I write one hundred in fraction, it is one over one hundred. Thus, zero point zero one is equal to one over one hundred. And zero point zero zero one is one thousand is the same as one over one thousand. Now, can you tell me which is smaller, zero point one or zero point zero one? Zero point one is the same as one over ten. Zero point zero one is the same as one over one hundred. One out of one hundred is a smaller portion than one out of ten. Thus, zero point zero one should be smaller than zero point one. That's correct. Look at this. Which is greater, zero point zero zero one or zero point one? Zero point zero zero one is one over one thousand. Zero point one is one over ten. One over ten is greater than one over one thousand. Thus, zero point one must be greater than zero point zero zero one. Wonderful. Look at this set of numbers again. Tell me which is the smaller number. Since the ones have the same value. I will have to compare the values of the digits after the decimal points. Zero point five is five tenths. Yes. Zero point zero five is five hundredths. I know. One point zero five is smaller. That's right. There is another way of comparing decimals. What's the other way? We can also use the number line. A number line. Yes, look here. This reminds me of my ruler. Exactly. From the number line, can you tell me which decimal is bigger, zero point one or zero point two? Zero to zero point one is this long. Zero to zero point two is this long. Zero point two is longer, so zero point two is greater. That's right. Now look at this number line carefully. How many steps do you need to take to reach zero point one? There are ten steps. How many steps do you think you'll need to take from zero to zero point zero one in this number line below? Ten steps as well. Hey, that means in an increasing number line, zero point zero zero one will come first, then zero point zero one. After that, will be zero point one, then one. Very good. Now, can you arrange this set of numbers in decreasing order? Decreasing means from the greatest number to the smallest number. The tens and ones are of the same value, twenty-nine. So you can actually look at the tens, hundreds, and thousands. There are eight tens in twenty-nine point eight, eight hundreds in twenty-nine point zero eight, and eight thousands in twenty-nine point zero zero eight. Eight tens is the greatest. So. Twenty-nine point eight will be placed first. Eight hundredths is greater than eight thousandths, so twenty-nine point zero eight will be placed after twenty-nine point eight. Eight thousandths is the least, thus twenty-nine point zero zero eight will be the last. Very good. Try the activity now. Yes.、Yeah. By now, you should know what the three place values of the digits after the decimal point are. Yes, immediately after the decimal point is the tens, then the hundreds, and the third is the thousands. Among the three, which is the greatest? 
Tens is the greatest. Good. And the smallest is thousands. How do we compare decimals? It is similar to comparing whole numbers. We compare the digits of the decimal from left to right to find out which is greater or smaller. Fantastic, Turbo Go. I hope you are better at comparison of prices now. Thanks for your help, teacher. I shall go and shop for my mother's gift.